Here I am. Look with me. There was a very good possibility that because of all the research that we are doing on the possibility of body stem cell conversion, that you might not show up for this sequence of time, all right, in which we are going to attempt to perform a ritual, listen with me, of the necessity that while we may give a totality of direction to the consciousness identity of the species of Homo sapien, that we can contain within us memories about ideas that bring about a natural conversion of the factoring, all right, of a time episode. Thank you for that, uh, remember? I'm, I, from, I had to review, I just got back here about 26 minutes ago. I had an agreement when I left this last factoring of time that the progress that we had been making in the converting agency of the direction that you had been given by the idea of stem cell in the factor of our memory with a basic admission that we were utilizing ideas about the figuration of our body identity in ideas concerning stories that were telling us about each other in the regeneration of the body form that I am demonstrating to you right now, we suddenly had to take a look at the complete and necessary idea that it would be impossible to hold within your idea concerning yourself about the nature of the consciousness identity of you within your DNA and not consider, and I'm going to use a particular word here because it's a word that will be virtually immediately very understandable to you. I'm going to have you say it with me, okay? Say to me, holographic universe. Holographic universe. Did you see this? Yeah. Here's where we've gone from. Stem cells, okay, to the idea of information in a holographic universe, and I'm going to read to you with your permission. Because of the energy idea that you are generating within the consciousness of your idea about yourself, the simple admission, and while this seems simple, I want you to examine it with me in the truest sense, in the idea that the power of decision power of decision in the reflection of our light are demonstrating what appear to be distances, distances in location of space. Now, say to me, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Do they really? Do they really actually entertain? a very fundamental idea that in the association of your consciousness in regard to self-recognition that you will be and cannot not be in an occupancy of space. Thank you holographically for the idea that you're in a uh, occupancy of your body. And while you are obviously in a pursuit of a solution contained within the reflection of the power of light of the universe that you just demonstrated to me, because of the new treatment in the conversion of your own cellular responsive body, you are beginning to recognize in this little field of space energy, light and energy, a more particular correspondence with what appears to be another body form who is in his cellular relationship, say to me, space. Space. With his space. Now, 
I'm going to read you very quickly just a little bit about the holographic universe and the fundamental possibility that if you let me deal with the mass conversion of energy within your own mind, look with me, I can show you on my reappearance and your subsequent recognition of me in a different place in time with the fundamental admission that your space-time is changing all the time. I'm, we must present ourselves with that or we're not going to get very far, are we? When I sat down here with you, I, teach, I love to teach the idea you can hear this in quantum. When I walked into this space-time location, uh, without regard to where it is, I obviously brought myself. And I obviously, at that time, was reflecting outside of myself what I thought were the procedures of my consciousness, identity of myself. Where I gave a particular reference to you, who also appeared to be in his own space-time identity. Now, I'm going to move into the idea of the power of the love that I'm feeling for you right now with my mind that is being transcribed in new definitions of ideas or stories about ourselves that then become a storyline that I am presenting to this little continuum of time about not only the physical body reassociation of the Savior. I'm using Jesus particular. You can hear this? But the space that he's in. Could you hear that? In other words, what would be the sense in me offering you? Okay, in the idea of this 80-year-old guy, we talked a lot about that, obviously. You're looking at me now. Many of you are saying there's no possibility that you are in occupancy of an 80-year-old body. Did you see that with me? On the last stem cell video, we talked about the idea of the acknowledgement that it's actually not in the DNA, the cells of your body that are important. I'm going to have you say this to me. Will you say, say to me the distance between them? The, the distance, distance between them. Did you say that to me? Are you teaching fundamentally the idea that the aggregation of the memories I hold about this body form are really undergoing constant and continuing changes, changes in the illusion that I feel about myself? And that inevitably, since I am the directing activity of my consciousness, it will have to be at least for that moment in the space in which I find myself. Come on now. The whole fundamental principle of Homo sapien is he believes he is limited by his perspective of a relationship of space-time with where he finds himself. The first thing he deals with in his DNA is the idea that he has memories of being a human body within his mind that are momentarily restricted by the notion of the memory factor that's contained within his own DNA that for that moment forgot that it couldn't possibly have located itself anywhere in space-time, are you listening, that did not include the entirety of the idea of a recellular association say to me, based on consciousness of energy. 